Hey, what's up? This is Anna. This is how to add testimonials to the Easy Testimonial WordPress plugin. Um, it's relatively simple. So once you're logged into your dashboard, you will see um, a couple of different things. There will be an Easy Testimonial settings, which we're not going to touch for now, but we're going to go and click on Testimonials. Um, give it a second to load. Okay, so I've added one as an example, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and add another one. So to add a testimonial, you just simply click this Add Testimonial. Okay, uh, I'm going to hop on over to this Success Stories document that I have, and I'm just going to simply copy and paste. Okay, um, and then I just, from what this individual says, I add a title to the testimonial. Um, uh, so here for this one I'm going to say I saw immediate results. That's going to be the little snippet that we put in for the title. Okay. Um, then what we're going to do is just kind of scroll down. There's a place for client name. Now I know we don't use the full client name in this instance, so we're just going to I'm just going to copy and paste their initials here. You can add their email address, but again, if you wanted to keep it private, you do not need to do that. Um, you don't have to add any of this other information either unless you really want to if you wanted to put in a certain product or something that they had used if you had a testimonial about like your uh, massage or something like that you could put that in or a specific product and then i always do like the five star rating okay um then we have what we have over here are the categories for testimonials. Now this one has, deals with allergies and food and so um, I might select this one okay but we can also add new categories and whoops sorry about that I had a couple of other I'm going to just grab one sec so if you wanted to add another category all you have to do is click that blue button here and then in here you can put in whatever you'd like and say add new category um, and this one doesn't I wouldn't say that that this applies so I'm gonna say oh well I just uncheck it if I don't want it uh, to be included in that now what you could do is literally make all of these individual categories um, that's up to you okay so um, I'm gonna keep it like this and then you simply click uh, the publish button okay now you can come back and edit it, it's no problem. Um, you just make the changes that you want and you'd hit that update button. And there is this short code here. So if you were to write a blog post or if you were gonna be um, putting an event on your website, like a, um, a, um, a what is it that I'm looking for? <laughs> like a community event, an education class or something that you wanted to put out there, what you can do is use what this is called a short code and you can use that and put it on any of those pages and I can go over that in another tutorial but I just want to point out where that is located you can just simply copy and paste this and put it on any page and that this specific tutorial or sorry uh, testimonial will show up not tutorial but testimonial will show up on that page okay so um, it's really quite simple and um, if you go back to the main testimonial page you can see all of the ones that you have listed right now we've only got two okay so you just simply rinse and repeat adding these in and um, again you can also go here to the testimonial category and you can add categories that way um, I find it easy to do it just within the post itself but this is again another way if you wanted to do this here you could do that and say add new category we've already got this one as once I'm, I'm gonna delete that but um, I hope you found this useful and if you have questions just please feel free to reach out thanks